Why are we sitting in a convertible Ford Mustang in the middle of the show floor at MWC Americas? It's because we're going to talk about all the auto-related and mobility-related things that we saw here. Uh, one of the things that I saw that I thought was interesting was a fleet management solution. You were talking to the guy for quite a bit. Jacqueline, what was that all about? He was saying that they have created a fleet management system that actually was pretty cool because it grades drivers on their driving behavior and there's someone up in the cloud monitoring it and they know who's being naughty and who's being nice. So basically that little sticker on the bumper of a truck, how's my driving, call 1-800-whatever, that will be made obsolete, right? Lots of infotainment. Um, the car that we're sitting in, we got a demo from a consortium called STL, which is an open source infotainment system uh, in Ford and Toyota cars. Scott, what is STL? Uh, STL is an automotive standard. It stands for Smart Device Link. It's an open source standard for connecting applications, uh, services, and content from a mobile phone and soon from the cloud uh, into the head unit, into the center stack of a, of a uh, car. There are over 10 million vehicles globally that have SDL uh, in them with our Sync 3 and some earlier versions of Sync, such as the Mustang that we've got here today. And actually our friends at Toyota, who are part of the consortium, just released their first vehicle with an SDL solution as well this July. We saw a demo at Qualcomm, their Snapdragon technology. Debuting our Snapdragon SA20A, that's an automotive grade chip. On top of that, we have four cameras connected. Now, we don't have a car here, so we, uh, we brought our little model. But the, so you have four cameras around there to create a surround view. And all this is running with uh, seamless performance. We also met a company called CalAmp. Can you tell us more about that? They have a lot of aftermarket connectivity solutions. And we think mobility as a service is a trend that's going to continue for a long period of time. I think that the one that might be most relevant to consumers is that parents can keep track of where their kids are driving. Okay. And if they leave the no, no drive zone, then they know. It's kind of like find your friends on the iPhone app. And also, they're doing a partnership with Ford and a company called Ojo to do a scooter sharing program. Um, we're going to hopefully have more details on that, I think, uh, maybe next month or the month after. We also had a chance to catch up with a guy named Omar Hoda, who's the mobility lead for Deloitte. And you guys had a nice conversation. What were some of the things that you talked about with him? We talked about how business models are changing so rapidly in the connected age. Uh, manufacturers have been doing business the same way for a hundred years and now there are so many different ways that they need to anticipate the future. Now you're going to start to see what was previously just a car and a ride turn into these transportation network businesses, very much like the communication network businesses that exist today. How do you go from selling razors to blades or cars to rides? That's the real transition that everybody's trying to make. Cool. Well, that's about it from MWC Americas. Lots of, uh, lot of convergence between the automotive and the networking space, and that's what we're doing. We're bringing it to you. Faster forward, TU Auto. See you at the next show.